I'm Jonathan with the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure and we're in Nanaimo today learning how to install a rolled erosion product. A rolled erosion product is a biodegradable or synthetic covering used to protect soils. It is used as a temporary or permanent measure on slopes where there is potential for erosion. It also may be used on slopes where vegetation is likely to be slow to develop. Today we'll be using a straw rolled erosion control product. Obviously, before you apply a rolled erosion control product, you'll need to make sure you have your tools with you and ready to go for the day. You'll need to have a shovel, pry bar, pickaxe, sledgehammer, maybe another hammer, something to cut, and obviously the staples to be applied to your rolled erosion control product. Just know that these staples are six inch today. They do come in varying lengths, depending on your soil type. So definitely speak with your QP or your qualified professional on your job site to make that determination. Step one, select and mark a location. You first want to identify the area that you want to apply it to. Once you identify the area that you're going to be applying your rolled erosion control product to, you need to prepare it. Step two, inspect the area, remove any rocks or woody debris, and apply seed. This slope has already been track packed up the slope and not across. The slope itself has been smooth and any obstacles or things that will prevent a nice solid contact from the rolled erosion control product to the soil has been removed and it's ready for application. You want to consider seeding it before applying the rolled erosion control product. Sometimes people will hydro seed and or seed on top of your product. It really is a best practice to seed your slope and then install your product. A little bit of vegetation, that's fine. That's going to take up through the straw matting and that's what you want. Step three, excavate a trench that is 15 centimeters deep by 15 centimeters wide. So when you're excavating your little trench, the full length of the product you're going to apply, you want to make sure that you're casting your material either upslope or adjacent to where you're placing your roll. You don't want to be casting your material down the slope because that's where your product's going. Step four, Lay out the product in the trench with the roll sitting upslope of the excavation. You want to make sure that you roll out enough so that it goes all the way into your trench and past it. You can use a pry bar, you can use a couple of staples just to secure your roll while you're backfilling your trench. Step five, backfill and compact the soil in the trench over top of the fabric. You want to make sure you use ample material from your excavation. And you want to use your shovel or your foot just compact along your trench. We're gonna to start today just by keying in with a couple of staples, just the tail of our rolled erosion control product right here. You can see they go in quite easily. If you find you get rocks in the way, they bend your staples, make sure you save those for recycling. Sometimes you can salvage a staple as well, making it straight again. Reuse. Step six, unroll the product down the slope, installing staples as you go. This is where you wanna take your time and you wanna make sure that it's making good contact and that you're keeping in the alignment of where you want it placed. So take a look and every couple of feet, just adjust it so that you're rolling straight. If you see sticks or things poking through your product, it's much easier and quicker to address it now than trying to deal with it later once you've stapled it in. So when you get to the bottom of your slope, you want to make sure that this product goes to the end of your slope and all the way past. Once you've made it to your flat, this is where you can cut it. Step seven, space your staples. Your staple spacing will be dependent on your slope, the size of your staples and the material you're applying the product to. But in general, you want to apply staples on one meter spacings going down and about 0.3 meters going across. There are staple guns that can save your ergonomics and you can do the slope very rapidly. Because we're only rolling out two rolls today and it's a relatively short slope, we're just doing this by hand. Always make sure that you're cleaning up behind yourself and collecting your plastic wrap and sheeting. Make sure it doesn't get lost or dispersed by wind across your site. Final step, for adjacent rolls, repeat the process and overlap 0.1 meters. And when you're overlapping these rolls, you want to make sure that your staples go through the overlap. 
And if you see any parts that are flipping over because of the wind, just add another staple. I don't think you can over staple, but you can definitely under staple. Keep checking your overlap, overlap is key. All right, now you can see that we've rolled out two rolls of rolled erosion control product. You see the lines are fairly straight. They have a good overlap. Again, this is a really good opportunity to, before you move on to your next roll, take a look and make sure that you have that really good contact between the product and the slope. Weather conditions are key. You don't want to be trying to do this in the rain. You want to be doing this in the dry in good weather. And there you have it, a properly installed rolled erosion product.